Well, here, I thought I was through with this uh, American politics, but let me just do this real quick. Um, as, well, the uh, Democratic National Convention is going on right now, and you know, there's a lot of speeches. Uh, um, Michelle Obama gave a speech uh, earlier this a couple of days ago, whatever it is, and um, uh, she talked about, the, you know, me and Bar the whole family thing, you know, and then uh, also, uh, oh, Bill Clinton came in, talked about the whole family thing meeting. They, it's almost like they go for the same script. I hear that Chelsea Clinton probably did the same thing. Oh, look, it doesn't matter. They all have the same thing. They met their spouses here, and they have a great family and all the rest of that stuff. Great. Um, and and I, I'm, I, uh, I've been a I don't know what happened last night, but where, where, where the, oh, Barack Obama came in and did the same thing. In fact, Barack Obama, uh, the president, was talking about, hey, if uh, you know, just like you carried uh, me, you need to carry Hillary uh, into the presidency and all the rest of that stuff. And of course, he talked about the family thing. Um, I, I don't know what, um, I suppose that uh, um, um, Kane, the, the vice president candidate, I don't know what he's talking about, I, I don't know what Hillary's talking about, because I haven't been paying, I just stopped paying attention. Um, mainly because there's something that's more, uh, the, the polite word or the, the academic word is disingenuous <laughs> happening here. Uh, because, um, uh, for instance, let me look it up here, uh, a thing called black, black, Black Agenda Report. Anyway, this guy, um, Glenn Ford, that's Glenn with two N's, F-O-R-D, F is in Frank, O-R-D, he wrote this commentary on uh, blackagendareport.com, uh, whatever it is, uh, look up the thing. Anyway, he was saying that, uh, and, uh, and a recent study showed that the Pentagon, Pentagon had this program for, for, uh, for uh, called the 1033 program. It was enacted in 1997. Okay, that's in the middle of, uh, of Bill Clinton's uh, presidency, um, and the value of the military, and the, the deal with the value of military uh, weapons, gears, and equipment transferred to local cops should not uh, exceed 32, I'm sorry, 34 million dollars annually until until uh, 2010. That was the whole. That was the whole thing. Now, the second year of Obama, that that would be the second year of Obama's administration. Um, when that came about, um, uh, when it was uh, at, at that time in 2010. That budget was nearly tripled from the $34 million to $91 million. Now, by uh, 2014, um, the full Congress, or that includes the 32 members of the, of the Congressional Black Caucus, rejected the bill uh, that would have sh probably basically shut down that, that 1033 program. Would, that there would be no more money for that program. In other words, money for transferring military equipment that they used overseas, or wherever wars they're doing, you know, these low intensity wars or these high intensity wars, whatever they call it these days, to the local police departments all over the United States of North America. Obama uh, um, was sending three quarters of a billion dollars more. That was more than the, uh, the 70, uh, what, uh, 787 million a year uh, for the, battle, the, the battlefield weapons, weaponry that the local police departments were getting. In other words, the President Obama oversaw a 24-fold, that's 2,400%, when I talk 1%, 24%, we take it, 2,400% increase in the militarization of local the police departments all over the United States between the, the, his presidency starting in 2008 until, until now, until 2014, I should say. Uh, now, even with that, you know, even with that scale back of the that he announced last year in 2015, he said he was going to scale that back. Uh, he still managed to transfer 459 million uh, 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 dollars to the uh, to the arsenals of the cops all over the United States of North America. That's 14 times as much weapons of of of, of terror and death than that Bush. <laughs> That's 14 times more of weapons of terror and death that Bush gifted to local police departments at, at the high point of his uh, look. The point is, you know, Bill Clinton destroyed black families and yeah, we, uh, uh, children of black families, you look it up, right? And all these people talking about their families and their, their wonderful families, they, they, they talk about their wonderful families while destroying the downtrodden families. You know, look at all those brothers and sisters in jail between the time Bill Clinton started his little thing, Bill and Hillary started their little thing about thugs and, 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 and bringing folks to heel, and now. 
and now this is going to go on worse than forget the whole continuum of Bush. Da, 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 da. This is a serious matter. The United States of North America is 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 is, 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 is a death camp. The entire thing is a ghetto. Yeah, build a wall. Yeah, you're gonna build Donald Trump. It doesn't matter if Donald Trump is Hillary. In fact, if Donald Trump build a wall, it'd be worse. You know why? Because that wall, yeah, it'll keep out Mexicans, but it'll also keep Americans out from getting out. Uh, suppose they build a wall through Canada. In fact, they'll just go up to Canada because Canada is just a puppy dog. <laughs> they start to be puppy dog of the United States. So, hey, North America, you're in serious trouble. Like I told folks the last time I was in the States, I'm sort of through with the Northern Hemisphere. I'm staying in the Southern Hemisphere, and I know they rape in Africa and continue to beat up on Africa, but I'd rather stand and deal here than to deal with those characters because, you know, they, 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 they're, uh, what do you call it, their arms dealers make the arms for the rest of the world, and then when they can't sell it to them, they sell it back to themselves. It's a, it's a scheme. It's a scheme. But that's just me talking. That, that would be me, T from the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.